Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to answer a question that one of my listeners asked me. And they said, how do you handle the smear campaign? How do you handle the fact that the narcissist is going around making up lies about you and and making everybody think that you are this crazy person, you have mental issues, there's something wrong with you? And here's what I have to say to that, okay? You have to understand how a narcissist's mind works. When a narcissist has, you know, endured a narcissistic injury, for instance, let's say you left the narcissist or you broke up with the narcissist or you abandoned the narcissist, that narcissist is not going to just let it go. They're going to feel the need to have to rip you up behind your back and destroy your reputation. The the first people that the narcissist will run to is their flying monkeys, okay? They're gonna run to their flying monkeys because the narcissist is a very insecure person that needs the flying monkeys to tell them, you're right, she or he was crazy, I don't know how you put up with that so long, you know, there's something wrong with them mentally, you're so much better than them. Okay, so you got to expect that when a narcissist, you know, when when you leave the narcissist, okay, that narcissist is going to want to destroy you because they can't handle being abandoned. So they want to hurt you in some way. See, narcissists, they they've got to always seek revenge. A narcissist will always want to seek revenge because of that fragile ego ego how dare you you know leave them they were superior to you because a narcissist always thinks in their pea brain mind that they're better than you so in order to make themselves feel better and also to try to hurt you to outsiders they're going to smear you okay so you got to expect that you got to expect that the narcissist is going to sit there and try to hurt you in some way Another thing too, you know, even if it wasn't a case of you breaking up with the narcissist, when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, smearing you is one of their tactics to hurt you because with a covert narcissist, they don't fight directly, they fight passive aggressively behind your back. So what a covert narcissist wants to do is they want to isolate you and abandon you and make you feel alone because this takes away your power of having self-esteem or feeling good about yourself. So what they'll do is they'll talk to other people and make like, you know, they were so empathetic to you, but you're the monster, okay? This is one of the reasons why covert narcissists are so nice to outsiders and cruel to you because they want these people in their corner so that today or tomorrow they have you have a falling out with the covert narcissist everybody's going to you know side with the covert narcissist because the covert narcissist has already manipulated everybody to think that they're this nice person they're this kind person they were so good to you and you're the big bad wolf okay So that's another reason why they do those things. But one of the things that you have to keep in your your mind, okay, when you deal with a narcissist or you deal with anybody that's out to try to hurt you, when people do things like gossiping or talking behind your back, you've got to know that you got under their skin, okay? You got under their skin. So when you find out that they're talking about you, you have to sit back and, and, and say to yourself, you know what? I got to them. I got to them, okay? They're not so self-assured of themselves because if they were so self-assured of themselves, they wouldn't feel this need to have to talk about me, to have to smear me or something like that. And I actually, you know, I have a narcissist that I dealt with years ago, still comes on my social media, still makes, you know, his little uh, sarcastic remarks. And I know it's him because I know his mindset of how he talks and just the comments that he makes. I know who it is. All right. But every time he makes a comment, I laugh about it because I say to myself, he's still suffering even years later because I don't want to be bothered with him. 
I don't want to be bothered with him. So I get with with these, you know, narcissists don't realize with their smear campaign is that they're actually giving you a little bit of satisfaction knowing that you you bothered them. You bothered them, okay? Whatever you did to that narcissist, it bothered them. So, you know the old saying, you know, if they're talking about it's when they're not talking about you that you got to worry. Not that you have to worry at all with a narcissist, but the point is, you know, the fact is they they don't they they feel the need to smear you because they are threatened by you, okay? That's why people talk about other people because they are threatened by you. And I did a reel on this and I talked about when somebody insults you, understand this, understand this, you guys, whether it's your social media or just a friend group or an ex, when they insult you, okay, it's because they're miserable inside. Miserable people feel the need to insult others. Show me a a, a situation of a happy person that insulted someone. You don't see that, right? You don't see happy people insulting others. Why? Because they're content. They're happy. They're not worried about this other petty bullshit. So when they smear you, you have to sit there and chuckle and say, they're really miserable. They're really miserable. They're really miserable. And that's why they have to put me down. Now, whatever they say to these other people, Whoever agrees with the narcissist is only agreeing with the narcissist because A, they need the narcissist for something. B, they're afraid of the narcissist, okay? Or C, they're just flat out stupid and don't see what's going on, okay? So you can't be concerned with these outside people because if somebody is not going to have your back, When the narcissist is going and and talking badly about you, why would you even want somebody like that in your life anyway? You wouldn't, okay? That, That shows you who your friends are or who's got your back and who doesn't is when the chips are down or when somebody's talking about you. So you can't be concerned about these other people. You have to say to yourself, you know what? These aren't my people. I'm glad I got to see it now, okay? And if the narcissist wants to go and badmouth me, go ahead, talk away. You're giving me satisfaction knowing that I got to you, you know? And anything that comes out of a narcissist's mouth, remember, a narcissist is toxic. So anything they say doesn't mean shit anyway, because they're toxic. They're a liar, okay? So who really cares what a liar says? I don't care what a liar says. I don't care what a narcissist says, because I know that they are, you know, a liar. They don't speak the truth. So there's no validity in anything that they say. And and you have to have that kind of strong mindset where you're so self assured within yourself of who you are, that no matter what anybody else says, you don't care. And I know it's hard for a lot of people because so many people worry about what other people think. And especially when you're younger, you know, you worry so much about, you know, what people are talking about and and it gets to you and it gets to your self-esteem and it makes you insecure. But see, when you've been through a lot of things, you become str- a stronger person. That's one of the benefits, one of the only benefits, really, of going through, let's say, narcissistic abuse. You come out a stronger person in the long run. You may not realize it now, but in time, you're going to be a, a very mentally stronger person because of what you went through. So your pain becomes your strength, all right? And when you went through a lot, maybe initially when you first break up with the narcissist, it's going to irritate you. But in time, you're going to get to a point where you're not really, you're not going to, you're not going to care. All right. You're not going to give a fuck what anybody says because you're going to know who you are because you've built yourself up. You've seen what this person is. And now you're looking at the person in a different light and you're saying to yourself, why did I ever give this person any importance, okay? They're nothing, okay? And a lot of times, narcissists, they come from nothing. They are nothing. It's the narcissist 
that really has nothing going for them, the broke, busted narcissist that has the biggest mouths. Why? Because of their insecurity about where they're coming from and what they've accomplished in their life, which is not much. So those are the narcissists that are going to have the biggest mouths. And you've got to understand it and expect them to run their mouth on you because they have nothing going for them, okay? They're losers. They are losers, okay? They're losers, so they have to sit there and try to put you down because you're a threat and they're so, you know, you real you really got under their skin because they know that you are better than them and you showed them that you're better than because you don't want to be bothered with them. And so now they have to put you down because within themselves already, they're insecure. And then just having somebody abandon them or not want to bother with them. Now they're really, really feeling that insecurity. So they need to attack you by smearing you. Okay. Do, don't concern yourself with this. If, if people want to side with the narcissist, understand these are not your people. Don't get too close to them. People that really know you and care about you will not let others talk badly about you or will not gossip about you. Okay. So if you're finding that's happening, then maybe you need to find new friends. Okay. You need to find people that are in your corner, not people pretending to be in your corner and talking badly about you behind your back. And this is one of the reasons too, it's not good to keep contact with any of the contacts of the narcissist because then things like this are going to come back to you. You're going to hear things that the narcissist said bad-mouthing you when if you would have went no contact with the narcissist, the people, you wouldn't be dealing with this bullshit. Okay, it's like I had a client who had somebody that kept calling her and telling her what the narcissist was saying and doing. And I said, if you want to have contact with this person, tell them, do not bring up the narcissist. All right, because when you deal with people that deal also with the narcissist, you're going to hear all of this nonsense, all of this bullshit that the narcissist is saying. So this is why in order to have your peace, you have to cut all ties. If you can, I understand not everybody can. But you have to cut all ties to the narcissist, block them on your social media. Don't even look at their social media because they are your past. They don't concern you. Don't make these people important. They're not important. You're going forward. You're not going back. They were a part of your journey. Now that journey is over. And when people are talking bad about you, instead of getting upset or anything, just say to yourself, for them to talk about me, I know I got to them. I got to them, okay? They can't deal with their shame. So in order to hide that shame, they've got to make me the bad guy. Blame shift. And if they can't get through to me directly, they this is why they're talking to other people to badmouth me and ruin my reputation or to get these people to not want to be, you know, friends with me or anything like that. And again, if these people don't want to be friends with you, or they're cold to you, or they act funny around you, they're not true friends. They're not true friends, you guys. And that's where you have to distance yourself and put yourself around people who truly know that you're a good person and, you know, are kind and understanding. And they can see that the narcissist is, you know, trying to throw you under the bus, okay? Throw you under the bus, all right? But understand, when you deal with a narcissist, this is one of the main fighting tactics that they have, okay? To try to hurt you is to smear you. So you gotta expect it. You gotta expect it, especially if you break up with them and let's say you did a reverse discard where you just got disgusted and walk away, and you didn't let them back in, or they tried to hoover you and you didn't let them back in, you got to expect that they're going to run their mouths because a narcissist always runs their mouth, all right? Because they can't stand alone. They can't fight you alone. They're not a lone soldier, okay? They're the kind of person, they've got to have their little minions. They've got to have their little backups. They're, they've got to have their flying monkeys because a narcissist is is nothing without their support system and flying monkeys. They need these enablers to boost up their ego and make them think they're right, okay? Because the narcissist doubts themselves. 
So they have to have other people say, you're right. Oh, yeah, they were awful. I don't know how you did you dealt with that. Oh, she was terrible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this, that. That's to all make the narcissist feel better, okay? And half the time, these people, these flying monkeys, they were never in your corner to begin with. They might have been smiling to your face and stabbing you in the back. This is probably their family or their close friends. They might have been nice to you if you saw them out, but deep down they didn't like you. And why? Because a lot of times they're covert narcissists and they're secretly jealous of you as well. So they love when the narcissist is smearing you because it makes them feel better because they have insecurities as well. And or they're maybe competitive or they didn't like, you know, you having any kind of control over the narcissist because they're covert narcissists. So they love when the narcissist comes back and smears you and they get in on it and they love to all sit there and commiserate and coffee clutch and talk about, you know, what a monster you are, what a horrible person you are, how you're messed up in the head and how you're crazy. And what does all this do? It makes these toxic people feel like they're superior. They're better. By putting other people down, it makes them feel like they're better. But I always tell everybody, I always tell you, always look at the source, okay? Always look at the source of somebody who is smearing you. It's always the ones who got the biggest mouths that shouldn't be talking, all right? So understand this. When the people are talking about you, and I just put a post up about this, and it's so true, that talked about when somebody judges you, okay, you got to look at them and say, well, who the fuck are they to judge me? What do they have in their lives that could sit there and make them be able to judge me? They're not God. They have no right to judge me. Nobody has any right to judge anybody else, okay? So you have to say to yourself, you know what? If you want to sit there and talk, talk your nonsense, talk to your blue in the face. But you know what? Whatever you say doesn't mean shit because you're not shit, all right? And people that talk shit about other people aren't shit as well, okay? Worry about your own life. Worry about progressing in your life. Worrying about have a career. Worry about taking care of your kids instead of trying to smear other people because you're miserable. And that's the root of it. It's because they're jealous, they're miserable, and they want to feel better about themselves. They want to, you know, hurt your reputation. They want to isolate you from other people. And they're horrible, horrible people. So you just have to distance yourself from them and distance yourself from the people that they surround themselves with if these people don't have your back or not in your corner. Okay. If you have to go out and make new friends, you do it. Okay. Because you don't want to keep people in your life that are trying to hurt you or talk badly about you. All right. So that's the whole mindset of the toxic narcissist, narcissist, okay? And the covert narcissist is to, they love gossiping, love talking behind your back because you have, you know, you have hit a nerve in them that they are so incredibly angry or jealous or, you know, you've gotten under their skin. So they feel the need to rip you up, okay? So again, don't let it bother you, you guys. Know who the fuck you are and 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 try not to let it bother you. Focus in, stay away from it, or you'll be triggered. You don't want to put yourself in a position where you're triggered and you pop off and you have a scene or, you know, a lot of times they'll try to trigger you. They'll call cops on you or whatever. That's why you got to stay away from this toxic crap, all right? And, and just say to yourself, I don't give a shit what they say. They're not my people. They're not, these, these are not my people. They don't see the goodness in me. They don't see my good heart. So you know what? They're not for me and they're not people that I want to be around and let them say whatever they want to say. And you know what? They're actually giving me satisfaction because by you talking about me, that makes me feel like I'm a bigger, better person because I got under your skin and I exposed you for what you are. And, and you've, you're trying to mask that by putting me down because you're afraid I'm going to expose you. That's another reason too, you guys, they, they smear you because they want to rip you up before you go and expose them to everybody else about how toxic they are. So what are they going to do? 
they're going to try to use the mental card and call you crazy so that nobody will believe anything that you say. Just understand this. It's all tactical. It's all their way. They're, they're very worried about their image. They're very worried about what people think. And so this is why they feel the need to have to put you down because they don't want you. You're a threat. You are a threat. And they're worried that you're going to go to all these other people and talk about them and, and expose them for how toxic they are. So they got to beat you to the punch before you even say anything. So they're basically it's they're afraid you're going to say something about them and people are going to think of them in a bad light. So they've got to ruin your reputation, ruin your credibility so that nobody believes anything you say. But in any event, you guys, they're not worth anything. All right. Let it go. Let it go. Get your peace. You know, you got to catch yourself when you feel you're going to be triggered and say, oh, let me take a look at where this is coming from. You know, some loser, some in some cases, some broke, busted narcissist that has nothing going for them. So, of course, they've got to run their mouth to make themselves feel like there's something. Of course, they've got to put me down because they are nothing, okay? People that do that, that are nothing, always want to tear down people that are doing better for themselves or who are better people, okay? Because they just can't handle it. They just can't handle it because of that deep-rooted insecurity. So the best way to deal with it is to not deal with it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you. Go talk till you're blue in your face, okay, toxic? Go talk, 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 because nothing you say means shit, okay? And refocus your mind and say, I have got to focus now on what's going to improve my life. I can't worry about this petty bullshit, all right? Either you're with me or you're not. The people that know me know that I'm true blue. I'm a straight shooter. I do the right thing. I talk the truth. And if if they're in my corner, great. If they're not, they're not my people and I don't deal with you. Okay? So I hope that helps you guys. If it does, hit the subscribe button and please share the podcast. Have a great day, you guys. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question and you wanna get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio, where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp 123 and also on Instagram the game exp 123 okay and have a great day